Hello guys, and today I will be talking to you guys about Season 1, Episode 3 of Rise of the Turtles. Now, um, uh, before we begin, um, I just want to say thank you all so much for, um, support, for your, um, views and, and, um, support online. And I know it seems like I, um, I get uh, aggressive with, with people sometimes, but no, it just, I just... I don't know what it is. I just don't don't want to be kept in the dark anymore. Anyway, enough of that. So this episode opens up um with it with the turtles having to deal with the with the obvious mutants, but this time they're dealing with some mutant silverfish because uh, because apparently when those um mosquitoes in the first episode um escaped they started mutating people and apparently the the silverfish came from those mosquitoes. So um they're just all smashing and bashing and mashing at them to manage trying to make sure they go away and they end up splitting in two and when I said they're smashing and bashing I meant Raph. Raph's best turtle. And um he's just doing his thing, you know, he's smashing and smashing away. And and, and then Donnie just is just look looking at this like, dude, every time you smash them they just split in two. And Raph's like, I know! Isn't that awesome? <laughs> like the true Chad he is. And then the Donnie's like Think, Raph, think. And then Raph thinks for a second, and I'm like, and, and then he's all like, oh. And I guess it does double the problem, which means it's time for double the smashing. <laughs> oh, man, my boy Raph, man, he is such a jock. And um, that's th those um, brotherly moments that happen in the series are one of the best I've seen in a long time because they actually behave like real siblings. And I d wouldn't have it any other way but the series. So, anyways, um, all the turtles try to um, try to um, derail the silverfish, and um, you know, um, as they're doing this, um, Mikey he tries to use his razzmatazz, aka um, his gymnastic skills, to um, um, sub subdue these 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 threats. That's but it, but he ends up um hitting his face on the wall. <laughs> and that's where Mikey um, basically becomes the butt of a joke, which is um, fine by me. I mean, Mikey is Mikey. Anyways, um, so then Leo uses his super mystic sword to, uh, what is it? Uh, he uses it to cut open a um, fire hydrant, yeah. And um, he uses that to... Um, Get all the um so, mutant and silverfish away. And then Leo says one of his one-liners. Oh man, you guys are not gonna believe what he what he says. Um these looks like these fish are oh my god, you're not gonna like this. All washed up. Yeah, like they said, boo. What? So after a terrible one-liner and her her horrible, horb and a horrible uh, attempt to to be a, to have a coordinated plan, the turtles end up up um getting um ambushed by the silverfish again, and um it's Donnie who has that has to um um literally make um make sure that that the silverfish get off of them, which is one of the things that that I never thought I'd see Donnie do, because um Donnie in this episode, is the embodiment of, of somebody who wants his brothers to be better, or but um, but in the end still loves them for, for who they are. That's the moral of the episode. <clears throat> so then, after all that um, chaotic stuff with the silverfish, they decide, Donnie decides to um, reveal that he got gifts for the turtles. Now, um, the gifts themselves are made to symbolize um, what the... Um, turtles have trouble with and um it's supposed to help them out um yeah and it, and it does end up helping and but not in the way they wanted it to but we'll get to that later anyways um the gifts consist of a red helmet for Raph and a um neck and a neck brace for for Leo oh and a um and a and a jumpsuit for Mikey so all three of them together are literally about to about to do some domination things with their um new um uh, acquired um um clothing and um Donnie is just so glad that they like them because that is what um because that's what anybody would would feel like. So anyways, um he is about to show them how those things work when 
uh oh, some they hear a break in. So they so they arrive on the scene, and it is none other than Meat Sweats. Meat Sweats is a um mutated pig that was created by another one of those stupid us mosquitoes that to um that have been plaguing the city for a while. Well, and um, um the first thing that we see him do is um cook the mutant silverfish, and and he says unleash the flavor. And then, um, of course Mikey knows about this guy. And, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, this guy is, is the, is the embodiment of, um, it, it, this guy is the Gordon Ramsay of, um, Rise of the Turtles. Yeah, he's literally Gordon Ramsay. But instead of, um, calling him that, people call him Root Pert Swagger. But, but, I mean, come on now, guys. This is Gordon Ramsay. He... <laughs> The guy who always shrugs people off and uh, makes sure that, that they feel the way the that and makes sure that they feel the worst way possible, yeah, it, it's freaking Gordon Ramsay, and, and you can't tell me otherwise. Um, so um after a um so after um Mikey um so after Mikey a a a explains all this to his friends, they they decide to try to to, to intercept him. But in the process of doing that, um, their suits start to, to start to do the things that that Donnie wants them to do. First things first, Raph. The first thing that that Raph does is go in smashing and bashing. But the helmet's like, "Hey, Raph, you need a plan." And and and, and then Raph's like, "What the, did Donnie? This thing talks." And then Donnie's like, "Oh, good, it's working," because um, that's the way he programmed his machine. And then, um, so then after that, there, there, he's kind of just, um, trying to fight him, but he's get, constantly getting nagged. And then, um, Leo comes in with his one-liners and, and, and gets shocked! And I mean, I do not blame Le Don Donnie at all for shocking um, Leo every time he says a he says one of those stupid one-liners. Those one-liners are stupid and pointless. They do not need to be, they are not needed. But then again, it, it, it is from, um, Leo after all. He does have a lot of um. He he does have a lot of charisma, and and will not hesitate to um go into a fit of uh, what is it um you know. And will not hesitate to do anything to make sure that stuff happens the way it should. Yeah. Anyway, um. So after all that, um, Mikey comes in, and uh, yeah. As soon as this, as soon as um Mikey does something as simple as a backflip, this his suit inflates. It's yeah, it inflates to make sure that Mikey does doesn't get hurt while doing his razzmatazz. He literally um um just just bounces around the place and, and makes sure and to make Donnie, Donnie really does care about his brothers, but sometimes um he I think he but sometimes I think but sometimes. His belief in, in, in what could change can kind of derail the team's progress. And they address this. But then again, um, he, he kind of had, has a soft shell. But before that, um, meat, meat sweats. It's, um, after he um, makes his dish, he absorbs the power um, of the um, other mutants and um, gets the power of the silverfish. And um, that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, after they after they totally bomb their mission, they are start questioning Donnie's gifts. They were like, seriously, what is up with this thing? What are we broken or something? And they're like, no. Um, but look, turtles. It's it's not that the turtles are broken. It's just, um, sometimes when it comes to um being on a team. We we there are some things that that can um get, that can um derail us in terms of um product productivity, but I guess I guess it is kind of rude too. But yeah, so um they try to encourage Raph to um tell Donnie off, but but obviously being the big softy he is, he can't do it. Um, this is literally him. <clears throat> oh hey buddy. Um, um, we are really enjoying the new gifts. They are really um helping us out a lot out, out here. Much to Donnie and Le much to Leo and Mikey's disbelief and um exasperation. Now um while while but while all this is happening um 
apparently there is a big chance that Donnie is going to be the is going to be a roasted turtle soon because um in the in the progress of doing all this they um instantly forgot that um meat sweats was still around and he captured Donnie he, so um what do they do they decide to use their gifts for the for good purposes but then um it doesn't really work out so what do they end up doing they just end up um finding workarounds so um mike so um my so, um, Leo puts, um, his, um, collar, as I'll just say that, in Meat Sweats, and says, Hey, Meat Sweats, I hear baloney is full of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, every time, so now, every time, um, uh, Leo says a pun, now that it's, um, attached to, um, uh, Meat Sweats, he now has to, he now has to, um... He now um gets shocked by that collar that's supposed to shock him, and and um Donnie is just so annoyed by this. He's like, "What are you doing? I, that is not the way you use those. I I made those very specifically." He, and 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 then af after that um all that um Mikey decides to use his razzmatazz as but but not in the way you might think. He uses that um fun suit to um bounce himself around and bounce directly onto meat sweats. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Donnie doesn't like this either. And, um, remember when I said before that that Raph wasn't good at making plans? Well, he is good at making plans. Just not the ones that are really benef beneficial to him or the, the team. Because in the end, he just decides to smash and bash Raph Best Turtle. Oh, and, um... <clears throat> And then, um, in, in, in the process of doing that, he decides to use the helmets as to smash the life out of, um, meat sweats. And then the helmet just, just goes, bad plan! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need that helmet to shut up. That's a good plan. And, um, after that, Raph, Donnie, and... Okay, wait a minute. Raph, Mikey, and, and Leo are all, um, are all congratulate Donnie for, for his gifts. They really did bring out the best in them. Much, much to Donnie's, um, exasperation. <sighs> they were supposed to be used for, you know what? I, I don't even know why I'm even worried about it anymore. They're, they're great the way they are, and they should be treated as such. No matter how much their, um, defects, um, are, um, derailing the team. So, yeah, this is a good episode. 10 out of 10. Thank you for, um, giving us an opportunity to watch this on Netflix, um, creators of the show, and I really do hope that, um, with the new movie coming out soon, I really do hope that, um, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, um, is, um, given a new sense of popularity, popularity, and, um, they do more, um, stuff with the Rise of the Turtles soon enough, because I really will never, um, forgive those, um, heartless people who decided to cancel, um, one of, a, a good series after three seasons. I mean, three seasons, my guy. But, yeah, I am so excited for the, um, Rise of the Turtles movie, and, um, yeah, um, that's basically it. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you all, um, hit that sub subscribe button so you do not miss a video from me. And I will see you all, um, next time. This is the Freehand Artist, and I will see you all in the next video where I talk about the next episode. Bye bye Also, Raph is best turtle.